We've laughed with them, and we've cried with them. But, although in the series in which they appeared, there was usually a happy ending, the real life for some actors looks surprisingly unhappy and sad. So, in this video, we want to show you six TV stars from popular series who suffered a fierce fate in real life, and whose fame, great fortune, and life as a Hollywood star did not make them happy. So, stay tuned here at Wonderlane. Let's start with number six, and an actor that many will remember from the past. It's about Frankie Muniz, who played the lead role of Malcolm in the series Malcolm in the Middle from 2000 to 2006. Malcolm in the Middle was a huge success for the then only 14-year-old actor, and up to 15 million viewers worldwide followed every week the adventures Malcolm experienced with his brothers, Dewey, Reese, and Francis. Even after the series was cancelled, things initially looked good for Frankie Muniz. For example, he was able to realize his dream of becoming a race car driver and started playing drums in a band. But nine years ago, the popular actor met a hard fate. At the age of 26, he suffered a stroke, which he fortunately survived alive. Not even a year later, another stroke followed, and in the course of the last few years, Frankie had to suffer a total of 15 minor strokes. These led to massive memory loss for the actor, and by now, he doesn't even remember large parts of his youth, including his role in Malcolm in the Middle. Fortunately, he has never been alone during this difficult time. His wife, Paige, has stood by Frankie since the first seizures and helps him to cope with his everyday life. For example, she keeps a diary with him so that he can keep as many memories as possible. We continue with number five, and an actor who was accompanied for nine seasons in his search for the woman of his dreams. It's about Josh Radner, alias Ted Mosby from How I Met Your Mother. The series was a huge success all over the world for many years, and after it finally ended in 2014, after a total of over 200 episodes, Episodes, Josh Radner really fell into a deep hole. After the series ended, he felt completely empty and disoriented. So the actor explained in the talk show Ellen that he was glad that it was finally over, but he now feels very confused and lost. The reason that he's also happy about the end of the series had to do with the fact that Radner already started to become more and more depressed during the shooting. Although he was actually at the peak of his career and dreamed of such success for a long time, Radner became increasingly unhappy as his fame grew. According to him, this was also because he realized that becoming famous didn't feel the way he expected it to. When the series ended, he went to Brazil several times to perform a shamanic ritual, which is supposed to drive away evil spirits. As the actor explained, a shaman's hallucinogenic concoction actually helped him feel much happier again. After these visits, he changed many things in his life and, in addition to some new acting projects, also tried his hand at music. In the meantime, he's hardly had any great successes, but just the fact that he's not in the limelight helped him to cope with his fate. We continue with number four, and Jeanette McCurdy who probably most people know as Sam Puckett from the Nickelodeon series iCarly. Jeanette played the cheeky teenager Sam, who produces a web series together with her friends, Carly and Freddy. In 109 episodes of iCarly between 2007 and 2012, and has been in front of the camera since she was eight years old. Along the way, the Americans celebrated success as a musician. After the end of iCarly, Jeanette was still to be seen in the the series Sam and Cat and other productions. But with Sam and Cat, many things were already not going as smoothly as McCurdy had hoped. She began to argue with the series partner Ariana Grande, eventually even left the show because she was paid less, and also had to accept a heavy blow of fate. Her mother, Deborah, became seriously ill and finally succumbed to her suffering in 2013. So, Jeanette was already at 21 without a mother there. 
But even before that, the private life of the actress was anything but beautiful. Since the age of 11, she suffered from anorexia and bulimia. These diseases became so bad that Jeanette has collapsed again and again. Although her mother knew about her daughter's illness, she still encouraged it because Jeanette remained smaller and thinner and received younger acting roles because of that. Only after a total of 15 years, Jeanette managed to get her eating behavior under control with several therapies. Now, let's move on to number three, and a former child star whose stark transformation we've already reported on frequently. We are talking about Angus T. Jones, who played the role of Jake in the comedy series Two and a Half Men from 2003 to 2015. While the series was still running, Angus became a strict believer, grew a long beard, and joined the radical Christian Seventh-day Adventists. This change led to him publicly calling Two and a Half Men filth and advising against watching it. With his blatant change, he caused a lot of negative attention in the media at that time, and his reputation started to suffer a lot from his change. In the meantime, however, Angus has left the Christian sect again for some time. Already some years ago, Angus mentioned in an interview that he could imagine to work as an actor again and to return to his old life. That's exactly what he tried to do again in the last few years, but he scared off so many people in Hollywood with his decision to join the extreme Christian sect. Most of them don't want to work with him anymore. Thus, except for a cameo in a small web series, the once best earning child star can no longer be seen in any film. Not only that, but close friends are also said to have turned their backs on him privately all because he made an unfortunate decision. On number two is Leah Remini, who is probably known to everyone as Carrie alongside Doug Heffernan, aka Kevin James, from the series King of Queens. Leah's acting was loved by viewers, and in the USA alone, up to 12.5 million people tuned into the cult series to enjoy themselves. However, no one could have guessed at that time that, behind the scenes, Leah Remini was not at all amused. In 1979, two years after her parents' divorce, Leah, then nine years old, joined the Scientology sect together with her mother. This was to exert an enormous influence on her for 35 years and control her life. Leah was brainwashed and donated several million dollars to the sect over the years. When Leah inquired about the whereabouts of the cult leader's wife just once in 2006, this culminated in checks on her family and interrogations that she had to face for years. It was only seven years ago that the actress managed to escape the brainwashing and influence of the sect and distanced herself from Scientology. Since then, Leah has been badmouthed and pressured by followers of the cult, but this has not prevented her from producing a book and a documentary series about Scientology as a warning, where she exposes their machinations. Let's move on to number one, and Conchata Farrell. Although almost no one knows her name, her role has become world famous. She was the housekeeper, Berta, in Two and a Half Men. Although Conchata Farrell has been an actress since the 1970s, and has appeared in countless films and series, she has never really had any great success. For a large part of her life, she only played small roles and struggled to support herself and her two daughters, mainly with the fees from small guest appearances. It wasn't until Two and a Half Men that she finally made her breakthrough in Hollywood at the age of 60. With a salary of $100,000 per episode, she suddenly became a multi-millionaire. When the show finally ended a few years ago and Farrell finally wanted to enjoy her retirement at the age of 70, she could hardly make use of her huge fortune. Because of several serious illnesses in the years after the shooting, the actress spent her retirement mostly in the hospital. She also suffered a severe heart attack after a lung disease, from which 
which she never recovered. So, the actress finally came to a nursing facility, where she died on October 12th at the age of 77. These were the six TV stars who had a sad fate. Which fate surprised you the most? Write it down in the comments, and we'll see you next time, here at Wonderlane.